So Blacktown not happy about that one. The goal won't stand. Referee's arm went to the sky straight away for what appeared to be a foul. And Lewis now is in trouble. He's losing his head, the captain. Uncharacteristic. Now Lynch push and shove with Piol. Now referee just got to separate the players. Very uncharacteristic from Matty Lou. Going to separate the players. The assistant referee helping out as well. Just want the players to get separated. Don't like to see this. Tensions running high. Blacktown's goal disallowed moments earlier. Round the grounds, 2-1. The Bulls over the Central Coast Mariners. And RPN Rockdale locked at one as we head to half time. Just joined us, a goal disallowed for Lachlan Campbell. Progress scores from around the grounds include Park Central Coast Mariners Academy 1, Bulls Academy 2. That's in the 42nd minute. So now Wanderers player just being assessed and it is going to be a yellow card to Matt Lewis. So we knew that. Very dangerous challenge. Lucky that card wasn't a different colour for the Blacktown City fans. Lapane back to his feet. That's good to see. Now the referee going over to the coaches to get a bit of order. Now players got to be careful. They don't get caught. Not switching back on when play resumes. How many goals have we seen in this scenario? After a stoppage and a significant one. Over two minutes. And now the fourth official just calming down Coach Christensen for the Wanderers. A yellow card for I believe was Ben Berry, the Blacktown defender. So the referee trying to restore order. Round 17, of course, you can see how much this game means to both sides. It's a local derby, and it's a valuable three points. Score still locked at zero as we approach the 40th minute. Back on again. Lapane sending it forward. Piol headers for Sapsford. 